Okay, so this uh, little, hopefully brief webinar is going to show you how to install this little uh, image downloader tool on Chrome. This is just a Chrome extension. So if we uh, if we just go uh, open a, uh, a browser and you know maybe start at Google uh, here might be the easiest way to do this and just type in Chrome extensions as a search and uh, that'll bring us to uh, the page here that we want for the extensions which is just chrome.google.com slash web store and so we click on that and we've got Chrome Web Store and, and right here we've got a search at the top left and we just type in there image downloader and then press enter or run a search and this one right here is what we're looking for the big blue box with the right arrow pointing down image downloader and I've already got it so it's it's just asking me to rate it but for you it'll have a little button that says add to Chrome okay and so you click on that and uh, run through the the install to say yes add it to Chrome and then once you've done that let's say we go out here to Home Depot when we want to to find some tools to uh, sell on eBay maybe this uh, tool storage chest here and and we want to make sure that we have an image that eBay will accept. Well, if we come into to this page, a lot of times we try and right click on that, and it may you know it may not be the largest version, or uh, um, we uh, you know if we blow it up, sometimes we don't have the save as. This actually looks pretty good here with uh, Home Depot as compared to some, but some sites they don't let you just save it. So this what this does is you come into this little button up here, and I'm going to shrink this so we can see it better. If I zoom it in like this, then it'll be seen better on the, the recording when I do this. So so then we can click on this, and basically what it says is uh, grab any images that are on this page. So you'll see it's got images that aren't the product that we want, but it does have this image that we want. But notice these sliders here. So what I do is I come in and I set this to minimum um, and you have to check this box, but you can slide this, so notice the pixels changing there. So I can set it at whatever minimum I want, and then you check the box. Now it has to check the box. If you don't check the box, then it's going to pull up all the small ones too. So you set the minimum and then check these boxes, and it says, hey, it needs to be at least 500 pixels wide and at least 500 pixels in height, and then it can go you know, as big as, it doesn't matter how big it is. Okay. And so now this little tool is scouring this web page for any links that it sees that match that size image. And so we can then come in here and click this little download arrow. And unfortunately, it defaults to the downloads folder. So if we want to put it somewhere else, we'll have to change, you know, the folder where we're putting it, but we can uh, you know, you can manage that. But then uh, there it is, you, you name it whatever you want, leave the tags empty, and then um, click Save down here. So you choose where you want to put it and then click Save. And it saves that image for us. And so now we have an image that eBay will accept. No resizing needed. We don't have to, to mess with image resizing or, or learning those images tools or anything. You know, those those types of tools have their place, I believe, but I don't believe that this is the time for it. I, I think uh, learning that kind of stuff, uh, let's learn that later on when we're dealing with websites or really need to manipulate images. If we can use a tool like this to quickly grab an image that we need in seconds instead of spending several minutes or longer trying to resize an image, I think that's a better way to go. Okay. Not to mention you'll run into other uh, issues when resizing. Sometimes uh, if it's a poor resize job, uh, whether it's the tool or, or our knowledge with the, the tools, it can pixelate it and not look good, and eBay doesn't like that. Customers won't like it. Um, or we're putting a, you know, a white border around a small image, so again, it's not really resizing. We want a true larger image, so this is a good way to do that. Okay. One other thing you can do with this is if we click on this image, if it has an option to enlarge, and then we have uh, all of these other images, sometimes 
Let's pull this back up here. Sometimes it'll recognize larger. Okay, and it's still just seeing the, the one image um, there. We would have to go to each individual image. But if we click on that one now, well, now we have that new image. And then we can come back here after we download that. And we can click on this one with, you know, so if we wanted to download multiple, oh, it's still just the one image. Interesting. Oh, there it is, right down here. So it does have the uh, the other image. It's just showing up uh, down lower. So, um, so that way you can go through, you know, and get as many images as you want if you want multiple. But I think that's a, a great tool. Uh, to use. So again, just the, the Chrome Web Store and Image Downloader and then Add to Chrome. And then it puts that little blue box with the white arrow up there in the the corner that we want to use. Okay. So.